Welcome to FreshMy.com. My name is Eric, and we are going to create our very first object. Not only are we going to create our very first object, we're going to learn how to rotate that object, how to scale it, and how to move it. So let's start off by going up to our menu bar. You're going to look for Create. You're going to click on Create, and go down to where it says Polygon Primitives. Put your cursor over the word Polygon Primitives, and you will see this list pop up that has a bunch of shapes that we can create. At the very bottom of that list, you're going to see interactive creation. Make sure that does not have a check mark by it. We want that to be turned off for now. So I'll, if it has a check mark next to it, just click on it with your left mouse button. And now when you go back up to your create menu, down to polygon primitives, when that list pops up, you should see that it doesn't have a check mark by it. So once that's turned off, go up to cube and click on it with your left mouse button and it creates a cube in the center of our 3D space. Now right now it's a wireframe. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Let's change that to a smooth shade. So I'm going to go up to the uh, View Panels menu bar under Shading and I'm going to click on Smooth Shade All. Now our cube looks more like a cube instead of a wireframe. Alright, make sure your channel box is turned on. If you forget how to do that, up on your status line, the very, very far right, if you click on that icon, it will open and close your channel box. So with your channel box open, make sure you have your cube selected. Just click on it with your left mouse button. And you'll see in this channel box a word up here called PCube1. That's actually the name of that object. So Maya just automatically names it. So that's the name of it. And you'll see these translate X, Y, and Z, rotate X, Y, and Z, and scale X, Y, and Z. The translate values are the object's position inside this 3D space. The rotate values are the exactly what that is. It's the values of its rotation in all three axes. And the scale is how big, your, how big or small your object is scaled in the three different directions X Y and Z okay to move your object make sure your object is selected over here in your toolbox you'll see a button with a cone and a red arrow if you click on that button you will see a manipulator handle appear in the center of your cube you'll see a green arrow a blue arrow and a red arrow which represent the Y Z and X axis you can grab any of those errors with your left mouse button. Just press and hold down the left mouse button over any of those arrows, and now you can drag your mouse to move that object in that direction. If you go in the direction of the arrow, it will go in the positive direction. If you go the opposite direction of the arrow, it will go in the negative direction. So if you look over the channel box where it says translate Y, you'll see those values change, positive and negative, depending on where we drag our box cube. If it, if it drops below this grid, the values change to negative. If it goes above the grid, it goes to positive. So that right there tells Maya exactly where that cube is inside this 3D space. If you want to drag it along the X, you're just going to simply left click on the red arrow, and now you can drag along the X axis, positive and negative. Same thing with the Z. You can left click on the blue arrow and use your mouse to drag along the Z axis. To rotate, or not to rotate, but to scale your objects, over here in your toolbox you'll see a button with a cube and two little red arrows. If you click on that, now your manipulator handle changes to a bunch of little colored boxes. You'll see a yellow box in the center, a green box, a blue box, and a red box. If you grab the yellow box in the center with your left mouse button, hold your left mouse button down on it, and now you can move your mouse left and right to scale that object bigger or smaller. And if you look in the channel box, you'll see the scale X, Y, and Z values change uniformly because we're scaling it in all directions equally. All right, if you want to scale it in the Y direction, just left click on this green box with your left mouse button held down, you can now drag your mouse up and down 
to scale your object in the Y direction. And if you look in the channel box, you'll see the scale Y value changing. If you want to scale it in the X, grab the red box. And if you want to scale it in the Z, grab the blue box. All right, to rotate, over in your toolbox, you'll see a button with a blue sphere and a red arrow going around it. Click that button, and now your manipulator handle changes to a bunch of lines. If you grab onto the red line, you can rotate in the X direction, Z direction, and around the Y axis. And if you don't grab a line, you can rotate freely. Okay, let's delete this object. Just select it and then press the delete button on your keyboard. And that gets rid of it. Go back up to your create menu, down to polygon primitives, and this time instead of clicking on the word cube, to the right of them, you'll see a little box. In fact, you'll see a little box next to all of these shapes. Click on the little box to the right side of cube. You'll see that it has a preset of one for height, one for width, and one for depth. So when we created that cube, it created it with those values. So it was, it was one unit wide, one unit high, and one unit deep. This also corresponds to the X, Y, and Z axis. So here, we can change the options. If we want to create a box that has that's three units wide, we can just type three. We can go down to height. If we wanted a 10 inches high, or just 10 units high rather, not inches. 10 units high, we could type 10. And if we wanted the depth to be, say, five, we could just type in a five there. And then you can click on create, which will create it and close out this dialog box. Or you can click on apply, which will create it and keep this box open. Or if you change your mind, you don't want to create this cube, you can click on the close button. I'm going to click on create. And as you can see, it created a cube according to the specifications that we gave it in that dialog box. All right, I'm going to delete this. Just make sure your item selected and press the delete button. Go back up to create menu, down to polygon primitives, over and at the very bottom, go ahead and turn on the interactive creation. So just click that. And this time, go up to your create polygon primitives, click on the word cube. And as you can see, it did not create a cube in our workspace, in our view panel. And the reason being is it's on interactive creation. So it's asking us right now where we want the location of our cube to be. So if I want to go over here on the left side of my view panel, I'm going to press and hold down the left mouse button, and now I'm going to drag my mouse, which allows me to determine the shape that this cube is going to be. And once I get a shape that I like, I can let go of the left mouse button, and now I can press the left mouse button again, hold it down, and I can drag my mouse up and down to create the height of it. So that's interactive creation versus not having interactive creation. All right, let me delete that. I'm going to show you again. Create Polygon Primitives Cube. I'm just going to click anywhere on my screen. I'll just go over here to the left. I'm going to just left click, drag my mouse to a shape that I want, let go, press my left mouse button again, and drag up or down to create the shape of our cube. Now for the rest of the time, uh, go ahead and play around. Just go to your Create menu, go down to Polygon Primitives, and just start creating these shapes. Practice what different ones do. Practice with the interactive creation on. Practice with it off. If you create a bunch of shapes, and don't forget to move, rotate, and scale. Just play around with all that until you get used to what it all does. Once you get a bunch of items, you can click on each individual item and then press the delete button on your keyboard. Or if you just want to just start all over from scratch, just go up to your file menu and click on new scene. A little box will come up saying do you want to save changes? Just click on don't save. Or if you want to save, just click on save and it will ask you for a name. 
So if we went up to, let's do create a box, create polygon primitives cube, file, new scene, save changes. Let's say I did want to save it. I'm going to click the save button. And now it's going to ask me for location on my computer and then a name. I'm going to go ahead and click on cancel. Delete that. And that concludes this tutorial. So have fun practicing those. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.